Welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla, and I like to talk about books, reading, reading vlogs, life, mostly reading related stuff, honestly. So if that interests you, then definitely please subscribe. And today I kind of want to talk about how to read more, or like some tips if you want to increase your reading and just make that more of a habit. So if that interests you and you're looking for tips on how to kind of increase your reading time, then keep watching. I apologize because some of these might just seem so so obvious but this is just what helps me kind of increase like my reading and being able to consume books like I like to and the first tip that I want to share is just prioritize reading when you have free time and I know that that sounds overly simplistic but hear me out sometimes it really just is about making the choice to either scroll mindlessly on your phone or read a book and I know sometimes in my own head too, I think, well, I only have five or 10 minutes. That's not really that much time to read because I'm kind of a slow reader, but really five or 10 minutes can be, and it depends a lot on the type of book you've picked up as well. I don't know. It's maybe a little bit easier to just whip out your phone for a few minutes, but whipping out the book can sometimes really feel a little bit more fulfilling in my opinion. For me as well, I don't really like to like watch TV by myself. I just, that to me is something I like to do with like my partner or like somebody else around. So my alone time is usually just spent reading, maybe watching YouTube or listening to a podcast. I like to <laughs> reserve watching movies or other hobbies for doing with friends or family because those are things that are generally going to be more fun for me with people. But when I'm by myself, I just like to prioritize reading. Okay, the second tip that I have is to just adjust your habits. And kind of going along with the previous suggestion, this is sort of just making sure that you essentially replace a habit or form a new one that's based on reading. So choose one section of free time that you often spend doing something else and just bring a book around with you and replace that. I did this a lot when I used to ride the bus to work and it made me feel like I had so much more free time than when I just listened to music. And like some mornings, yeah, I would still just listen to music, but when I would read a book, it felt like, oh my gosh, I read chapters and chapters. Like that was not time where I was stuck, confined on a bus. It was time where suddenly I could read and I could be in a new place and I could do something I enjoy. That's just one example. There are a lot. Another really obvious one is reading before bed. I know a lot of people already do this and it's really obvious, but I feel like we have often gotten into the habit and just like sitting and scrolling before bed. And I'm guilty of this sometimes too, but reading, when I make the choice to read, I really feel so much better. I drift away much more nicely. I generally sleep better and and it seems to ease a lot of anxiety. So I feel like when you just make the conscious decision, even if you do still go on your phone, if you maybe put it down after like a timed amount of time or say I'm just gonna use one app, like I'll often do like a language lesson or something like that and then I'll put my phone away and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna read now. Also, maybe you wanna read on your phone or maybe you wanna read on another device and that is totally fine as well. But I also just feel like it's like a nicer way to go to bed because it takes you out of your own head. Like for me, I will get a lot of anxiety sometimes before bed and just feel like I think and think and think about everything in the world. And if I'm reading a book, that helps that so much more because I'm thinking about what I'm reading instead. Okay, the next one was for me absolutely game changing after I had a baby. And that is to invest in things that make it nicer to read. It used to be for me that I could curl up into like whatever position in any free time that I wanted and just like read a book, right? That was life before kids was a totally different ball game, right? I'm not saying that you have to go all out and buy like an expensive e-reader or something, but just investing a little bit of time or money into something that makes reading more pleasant is obviously just gonna make you wanna do it more. For me, getting a really nice reading book light was the end all be all after I had a baby. And I'll insert like what my book light is here and I will leave a link to the type of book light below because 
It changed everything. After I had a baby, I was spending so much time holding her, but I couldn't like turn on a big light because she would be sleeping in my arms or nursing. And I didn't want to like, you know, bother her eyes. And so often I would just end up scrolling on my phone, but it was so much time that you were doing that. Like she was sleeping and I was like, no, I can't do this with the night feedings. Always on the phone. And then it was harder for me to get back to sleep. So I ended up just investing in a reading light that's rechargeable and it bends it dims a little bit and it bends really nicely so you can angle it away from like your kid's face or where your partner's face whatever's going on a reading light and I used to use them when I was a kid but like they have gotten so much nicer now so a reading light was game-changing for me because yeah she was always like napping on me nursing on me and it was really really hard for me to prioritize reading until I got that light and then when I got that light I got my reading life back still I use her nap time now it's like almost become just such a habit that I will lay her down to nap in her room and then I will often just sit next to her and flick on my reading light and read my book and that is just time for me to decompress too I could be getting other things done but it's enjoyable for me to have that time so I would really recommend investing in something small to just make it so much better other things that could help a lot would be to obviously get a library card so that you just have more access to more books. Investing in a book subscription service, a lot of times these end up having a little bit cheaper like newer releases of books and they have great selections. Joining or creating a book club is another one if you feel like a more social person and you really want to discuss the books you're reading. Even if it's just like two or three people, that can be really fun. Getting a book holder if you it's like hard on your hands to hold a book or investing in an e-reader if you prefer that format. These are all things that honestly, other than the e-reader, like they don't necessarily cost a lot of money. And if it's something you wanna prioritize as a hobby, they can make it so much easier. So I know like when I do book of the month, that's something that makes me wanna read more because I look forward to it. It's like a package, a present that you're opening. Um, I know that if I have my reading light, then obviously I'm gonna be accessing and reading those books much more going to the library with my daughter like there are so many things that just make it more exciting and easier to read so definitely if one of those is something that you think will make it easier just go for it okay the next tip is sort of moving away from I guess the traditional books and is just to embrace audiobooks I know this isn't exactly the same thing as a reading per se, but I still consider it like you're consuming books and if you want to consume more books, this is such a good way to do it. Obviously, reading takes a lot more attention. You have to have your eyes on a book. If you're doing something like driving, you can double up that time and listen to an audiobook. But I know like usually I listen to music in the car, but the second my kid falls asleep in her car seat, I switch to an audiobook. Likewise, if I'm like on a plane ride or something like that, I'm often holding a sleeping baby and I can't comfortably hold a book, so I just switch to an audiobook. I know not everybody loves audiobooks and it depends a lot on the narrator, but this is a really good way if you're trying to just consume more stories, read more books. If you're doing stuff like reading a book with a partner, but it's too hard for you to actually read the physical book. This, these are just great ways to like increase your reading. Not revolutionary by any means, but I'm just sharing what definitely has helped me read more. Because I also find that when I listen to more audiobooks, it sparks my interest in other physical books to read as well. So next thing is to just pack a book. If you are going somewhere, just throw the book in your bag. If it's there, you're going to be more inclined to read it. I know that's like obvious, but if you don't bring a book on vacation, then you're not going to read a book on vacation. If you bring a book on vacation, you still might not read it, but it's way more likely that you read it than it not existing at all there. So just bring it with you. Bring it with you on the train. Bring it with you on the plane. You're just more likely to read it if you see it and it's in your vicinity than if you didn't bring it at all. So it's as simple sometimes as remembering when you leave the house to bring it with you. Okay, the last thing might sound super obvious as well, but I feel I'll just, I'll elaborate on it afterwards. And that is to 
read things that actually interest you. Like I said, this may sound so, so obvious, but I think we too often get caught up in like what we're supposed to read, what everyone else is reading, what the like hip book of the time is, just what I, I feel like we get caught up in what we're supposed to read, what we're supposed to think is good, instead of just picking up what's actually enjoyable. So like, yeah, maybe that one really popular nonfiction book is what a lot of people are raving about but if you love a cozy mystery or a romance novel then that's what you should pick up and just embrace it like embrace reading what actually interests you like if you don't enjoy the book you're reading you're not gonna want to keep reading it you're not gonna look forward to picking it up and it's gonna feel like a chore instead of something enjoyable so just read what you want to read read what interests you what brings you joy what makes you happy. If you love cozy mysteries, read them. If you love nonfiction books about self-improvement, which I personally like think are super boring, but my husband loves those kinds of things, like all those like habit forming atomic habits kind of books. He loves that. If he likes that, great. If you love reading about machine learning, again, my husband loves that. That does not sound quite as riveting to me, but he loves it. So just read about what you want to read about, you know what I mean? To heck with all the people who are gonna maybe judge you about it, but I feel like honestly most people are not gonna care what you're reading. So just read what you like to read and that is maybe even the biggest tip of all. I don't know. Okay, that is it for all of my tips on how to read more. Let me know below if I forgot anything really really obvious, but I just kind of felt like I wanted to share some of the ways in which I just increased my reading time and also my enjoyment. Like I said, like I kind of let go of a lot of the ideas of, oh, it has to be a paper copy of a book. And it's like, no, it can be an audiobook. Oh, it has to be this type of book. It's like, no, just read what you like. Read what you like, read the format that you like, and do whatever you can to make it the most enjoyable experience. And that's what's gonna be best. So like I said, some of these are obvious, but hopefully they help if you're feeling like you just want to increase your reading time. And let me know if I missed any tips, if you use any of these yourself. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Oh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you.